This video will walk you through the tire installation procedure for a Valmar AB640 pull type air boom. Safety first. Always wear proper safety gear when working on a machine, including safety glasses and steel-toed boots. Before starting the tire installation, hook the AB640 to an appropriately sized tractor using a hammer strap that will keep the machine stable during the installation. Failing to secure the AB640 to a tractor can cause the machine to tip and may result in serious injury or death. Only install the tires on solid level ground for maximum stability. Once the machine is in place, put in park and turn the tractor off. Using two forklifts is recommended for the installation. Both should have a minimum capacity of 8,000 pounds at three feet out on the forks. Depending on hitch height, blocks may be needed under the rear wheels in order to achieve proper ground clearance. To set the blocks in place, lift the axle from each side and slide a block underneath both of the rear shipping wheels. Then slowly lower the wheels onto the block. Under ideal conditions, a block under the rear wheels will not be necessary. Now, you will need to raise the front of the axle, lifting from both sides simultaneously. Lifting the front or rear of the axle can be done by narrowing the forks and lifting from underneath the axle, placing the forks closest to the steel shipping wheel that you would like to raise, or by wrapping a toe strap around the spindle, as shown, and lifting with the forks through the loops of the toe strap. If lifting from underneath the axle, it is recommended to bring the forks in as close as possible to the center of the machine, but ensure that the forks from the two forklifts are not overlapping. When the front wheels are raised to the maximum height, the axle lockout pins can be set in place. Install the axle lockout pins on each side of the machine, making sure to use the snap rings to secure the pins. Now, with lockout pins in place, slowly lower the forks of both forklifts simultaneously, checking that the pins are installed properly and the axles stop pivoting. Once this is confirmed, lower the forks and back the forklifts away from the machine. Using an inch and one eighth socket, remove the front shipping wheels. Next, place the front tires onto the wheel hub assembly. The tread of the tires should point towards the rear of the machine. Ensure that the rims are in the correct orientation prior to installation. Once the tires are in place, install washers and nuts on the bolts and fasten down using a star pattern as illustrated. Now, with both front tires installed, use the forklifts to lift the tires and remove the axle lockout pins on each side. Then, the front tires can be lowered onto the ground. The same process can be repeated for the back two tires. Start by lifting the back of the axle until the axle lockout pins can be set in place. Once the pins are set in place, the forks can be lowered and the rear of the walking beam suspension will remain in an upright position. Ensure the hitch is secure and use extreme caution when lowering the forks. The machine will lower slightly and the hitch will shift up against the hammer strap. Remove the steel shipping wheels on each side and place the rear tires onto the wheel hub assembly. This may require placing forks underneath the tire and lifting the tire with the forklift. Using the same star pattern previously mentioned, fasten the tires to the hub. Once both back tires are in place and tightened down, use the forklifts to lift the tires and allow the axle lockout pins to be removed. Lower the back two wheels simultaneously until all four wheels are resting on the ground. Using a torque wrench with an inch and one eighth socket and extension, torque the lug nuts on all four tires to 300 foot pounds. Use the same star pattern previously used for tightening. It is recommended to recheck the torque settings of lug nuts and bolts after 10 kilometers or six miles, and again after 50 kilometers or 30 miles. You're now ready to install tires on the AB640 with confidence. Thank you for watching.